Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to my channel. It's Friday and it's time for a brand new video. So I thought today, what I would do is, I've never done this before, but I am RuPaul's Drag Race, huge super fan. I love the show, love every season, love all the spin-offs, love All Stars, just love it all. And All Stars 5 starts like tomorrow, like today in America, but tomorrow for me. So I thought I would talk through the um, entrance looks, the queens, my thoughts, my opinions, which queens I like, which queens I'm not a massive fan of, but that could change this season. And I just think it's gonna be super, super, super exciting. So um, let's get straight into the video and um, let's um, review these queens. Okay, so this first queen is BAM! Yes, Alex Mateo. She is from season three and she also was part of All Stars 1 where they did this weird team up thing, didn't quite work, probably the worst season in um, Drag Race history. Um, but Alex Mateo, um, she's a Puerto Rican queen. She's so funny, she's got so much charisma and I really like her as a queen. Um, I feel like she didn't maybe do the best she could have done in her season but I think she's going to come back and she's going to slam it and I think she could potentially make top three here um well, I love her entrance look as well if we look at her entrance look it is um an American theme so even though she's Puerto Rican she's gone with the American red white and blue stars and stripes um and yeah just an overall nice queen I think she will do fairly well in this season next 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 darlings 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 now this is probably my favorite queen in this season um Blair St. Clair and she does declare um so Blair in her season was very quiet very timid um very shy I think she didn't really come out of her shell as much as she could have done because there's so much to Blair St. Clair I feel like there's depth there and I think she was very I mean she was she was only Oh, I think she was 21 in her first season. I mean, she's the most adorable, cutest human being I've ever seen in my life. Like, that face is just like so. But anyway, back to um, what we're talking about here. So, Blair Sinclair um, was in season 10. Um, she did okay, but not that well. But I loved her from the moment. I don't know what it was. There was something about Blair that just kind of caught my, me and my attention and um, yeah um, let's look at her entrance look now so this is an orange kind of um, dress kind of suit with matching shoes uh, jewels on there it's got a very grungy look um, in terms of she's a badass bitch and I think she's coming back to destroy and I think that's that's what she, that's what this looks trying to give from the get-go that Blair Sinclair will come back she will victor and hopefully she will win because I mean I want her to win, but that's just me being biased, and yes. Okay, next we have Britney Spears. Oh, sorry, I mean Derek Barry. Um, so Derek Barry is a queen um, from season eight. Uh, yeah, so she was in season eight, um, but brought us Britney Spears the whole time. Um, so Derek is a famous Britney Spears impersonator, that's no lie. She's fucking amazing at doing that, but that's all she gave us. She gave us nothing else, nothing more, and there was just this it was just like a, I don't know. Um, these are just my opinions, by the way, so please don't get offended if the queens watch, if anyone else watches. These are just me as an overall. Um, yeah, but um, I like Derek as a person, but I just feel like she didn't give her personality. Um, but hopefully this time she'll come back realising that she did make mistakes in that first um, season that she was in. Um, she will slay, she will destroy it, and she will hopefully achieve well. Now her entrance look is like this black and white jumpsuit uh, with like kind of crystally gems on it. I quite like it, but I think it's very Britney again, and I think she needs to move away from that. But we shall see how it goes when, yeah. Now, the next one is India Ferrer. Um, she is way, way back from season three. She's very glam as a queen, um, over the top dramatic, and her entrance look shows that. It's like this blue kind of jumpsuit with like puffy shoulders. Uh, it's got like a flowy back, um, very exposed. Um, see the tits perfectly, which is always good. Um, her look is flawless, actually. I think this is probably one of my favorite um, entrance looks to this season. She was part of this thing where Mimi on first picked her up in her lip sync 
survival and um, Mimi did go home because of that. Um, but it was very aggressive. She was picked up like a, like a piece of equipment. And as Rue said, drag is not a contact sport. Um, but I like India, we'll see how she goes in this season. And yeah, next, next, next. So we have a season two queen and another All Stars one queen, um, Juju B. The reason they're only allowed to have one cocktail because she got way too drunk one week. Um, but Juju B is an iconic queen, like she's known, like she's a very powerful queen. Um, she did really well in her season. Um, she came top three um, and she also came top three in All Stars 1, so she's all come top three twice. So I feel like this could be her season where she just kind of claims the crown. Um, her entrance look, I'm not loving it. It's kind of like this half cut dress stroke suit um, with arms, got like this kind of weird, um, I don't know how to describe it, like like kind of crisscrossy kind of pattern down the middle and across like the, the chest and stuff. I kind of like it, but it's not my biggest, it's a bit meh. But I love Juju as a queen, she's very talented, she's funny, um, she's got some shade in her, you know, when the library is open, she can destroy. So, um, we'll see how she goes. Next we have Mariah Valencia, now she was from season three. She's a queen I don't really remember that well, and I haven't watched seasons back since they actually aired originally. Um, yeah, she was she was a very she was a, she was a very glam queen um and she was eliminated after her snatch game which was probably one of the worst snatch games well not one of the worst but you know it was it was up there as in one um i don't really know what i'm saying here um but oh, oh, i i I don't remember her that well, so I can't really give an opinion here. Hopefully she does well, because I want all these queens, I want all the queens to do well. I feel like, you know, All Stars is kind of your time to come back, shine, show how you've grown, and basically destroy it. Um, her entrance look, it's kind of this purple and yellow kind of leotard with kind of like legs. Not really like, I love her face, her, her makeup is done beautifully, like these really long eyelashes, uh, beautiful pink hair, um, loving that. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how that one goes. Next, 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 we have a Mayhem Miller. So Mayhem was very strong. She actually won the first episode, but then it just went down and didn't get any better. Um, she's come back, I think she can deliver. She is um, from LA, she is a favorite queen. Like, I love Mayhem, um, but she was just never in that league. And I think she can get there. Like, I think she has got the ambition. I think she's got the skill set. And, you know, these queens have had time. I mean, she's only had two seasons off before this is actually happening. So I think she's had enough time to kind of grow, develop, become better, become and do well. Yeah, um, her entrance look is this kind of red leotard with high boots. Um, I like these looks and I think it suits her. Um, not my favourite look again, but it's a nice kind of I'm back kind of look, I think. Now, here we go, Miss Cracker. Now, I was never a fan of Miss Cracker and don't get offended if you're a huge Cracker fan. Um, I, I think this is because Blair and her were in the same season and I was very much a team Blair person. Um, they're both very different people, but Cracker, she's comedy. She's a comedy queen. She can destroy um, in terms of comedy. Um, she's Jewish, so she's got that kind of Jewish kind of love to her. Um, from New York, um, I think she will do well. Like, I think, I think she's gonna be, again, I think she will be a top three queen um, just because she has got personality. She can do looks, she can do, um, fashion i think she's got like an all-rounder and i think that's what you need for this like all-star season and i think cracker is going to do well here hopefully she can change my opinion of her because i think like blair and her always had this rivalry um kind of going against each other um maybe i will come to love her and um, look at her entrance and look now it is like this blue kind of fluffy um peacock kind of vibe i like it it's very her it's very it's very pretty it's very Personal, personable, and I think it suits her well as an entrance look. Now, we go way, way, way back to when RuPaul's Drag Race was not even a thing. Well, it was a thing, but it was so turned on Gina from season one. So she is one of the queens that made this what it is today, basically. I don't think I've ever watched season one, actually, because it had this filter. Um, everyone will know about the filter that I'm talking about. Um, 
but I've never watched her. I've seen her on Instagram and stuff. I've seen her do some stuff. I've seen clips, but I've never actually seen her in person. I think she's a very powerful queen. I think she can come. She's going to slay, and I think she will destroy. Her entrance look is probably one of my favourites. It's this very dramatic, over-the-top kind of armour um, with, like, bits coming off of her. It, she's coming in with like power like I'm here I'm 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 ready to destroy I'm gonna dominate and I'm going to win this shit and that's what I think you need to have when you come to all stars um but yeah now my season nine baby now potentially this queen I think could have been the winner she was probably one of my favorites from season nine um, which is gonna put her strongly in my favorites category here um Shay fucking culé. Now, I think she could have won season nine, but when the roses happened, you know, Sasha Velour lifted up her, her wig and the roses fell out, it kind of was like a bitch, she won this. Um, but Shay, Shay is a super funny queen. She is talented. She is, she can do comedy. She, um, she slays. She slays, basically. I think, yeah, she's got her eyes on the prize very much so because she was so close to winning, like she was there in that moment. Um, her entrance look, amazing like it's this very flowery kind of pink and purple um i'm getting like miami kind of vibes from it i really like it um yeah um but shay is one of my favorite i mean i'm saying this to everyone basically this isn't really a very good video is it because i'm basically saying they're all amazing and um, shay calais um is here and she's coming to slay and that is it that is all 10 queens um out of all of them, I'm really excited to see them all. I'm really excited to see um, how it's going to go. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the trailer that came out. So, All Stars Roars have been suspended forever. Sorry, what? They've like changed it up yet again. And I'm super excited for this. So basically, each week when you... Um, win and you get your um i don't know how they're gonna do this because normally they do two two top queens they sing against each other they then send their their favorite or chosen eliminated queen home but this year there's a lip sync assassin so every week when you win you will sing against an assassin i'm assuming if they win they get a prize and if you win you get a prize but i don't know how that affects the sending home and stuff like that i'm so excited to see it, it happens in like 24 hours or less um but yeah, I've never done a video like this before. If you want, if you like this and you want to see maybe me review each episode after the season and how it goes, I'd like to do it. I'd like to try it. I've never done it before. Um, but if there's something you'd like to see and see in my reactions, my opinions to runway looks, to challenges, to all of that kind of stuff, please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, make sure you press the subscribe button and ring the bell because when you ring that bell, whenever I upload, you are the first to um, see that. And give a thumbs up if you haven't already. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed this weird, quirky, strange, unusual, different video. If you did, um, yeah. I will, again, see you very soon for a, a brand new video. But, um, yes, love you. Leave you. Bye!